마이크 테스트 들어. 네. Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to present this manuscript. Yeah. Transient to clear deformation primes epigenetic states and promote cell reprogramming, written by Song Lee Groups. As you know, Song Lee is biomedical engineering scientist who link the reprogramming and mechanobiology. So after moving back to UCLA, yeah, he now making some good paper. So I feel like this is one of the good paper he he will submit soon. So this is published in BioArchive 2021. So here, uh, they used microfluidic technology. So they move the fibroblast and using different diameter of the slit. So which is three, five, seven, two hundred. And then this is um, how the cell going pass, pass, passing through this slit. So original size is around 20 micrometer of the cell diameter. And the nuclear diameter is 10. But the slit is a little bit smaller than their average. So this is a, a without passing through, which is normal cell types. And then this is sci-fi antibody is included in media. And then when there is a cell membrane rupture, so sci-fi antibody can, can penetrate inside. So which means this is, some, this is marker of the cell membrane rupture. So as you can see, 200 micrometer, which is say as control group, because there is no uh, compression force from this slit, but they can only feel the shear flow. And then other three, which is lower than uh, their, mem their cell diameter, which can induce some compression force. But as you can see, this seven micrometer slit size, they show little uh, sci-fi antibody, but other, they have many, which means during this passing through, cell, cell can experience the cell membrane rupture. And then that can be also confirmed by this lamina C and H2B. This round, round things, small dot, which is a marker of the, this is from the nucleus. This is a nuclear marker of the destruction. So, which can say that seven, three F5, they are too severe to give some external force. So nucleus are deformed. And, and then seven micrometer without any deformation of the nucleus, which is quite good. And then when they also quantify the live and cell image after this uh, passing through, they observe that five and three, they show some significant decrease of li a live cell, but up to seven is good. So now they are using seven as a experiment group and 200 micrometer as a control group. And then uh, this is some clip time. Clip time means that how fast the cell can penetrate. So when they using some super high resolution, high, high resolution microscope, they analyze around seven millisecond it will take per passing through this slit using seven micrometer slit size. And then when they check the cell uh, membrane stiffness above the nucleus, and then this is before squeezing, uh, not much different, uh, around 1.5 kilopascal. And then when they are squeezed, right after squeeze, the Young's modulus stiffness decreases. And then it lasts 12 and 24 hours. So they can say that any our cell, when, when cells are squeezed using this slit, cell stiffness change. And as well as, as you can see, this nuclear shape also change. In terms of nuclear shape, they analyze later in more detail. And then now, uh, so before going going to the this reprogramming status, I will share the uh, supplementary data. So this is the microfluidic device. Inlet means inside, and then after passing through this lid, outlet. And then this is some um, zero, five millisecond, 
10 milliseconds, so average 7 or 8 milliseconds for passing through this slit. And then this is nuclear diameter, yeah, uh, passing 200 micrometer channel. Mm. This is uh, used as a control group. And then this live and dead images. As you can see, three of five, you can see many red dead cell, but not from the seven. And then uh, relative cell viability using CCK, yeah, uh, using Presto Blue, another type of the CCK, uh, three of five, uh, be below half or 70% decreasing, but seven, nine, they're quite relevant. And then also they want to check the flow rate because when they use a small, slow flow rate, it will take much time to collect the cell. So anyway, they want to, they want to increase the flow rate, but also increase the flow rate, they can decrease the cell viability because of the shear stress. So when they check 40 and 100, significant decrease of cell viability. So they found 20 microliter per minute is a maximum and then well-produced condition. And then, depending on the, this is some um, before squeezing and after squeezing and 12 and 24 hour. Upper one is they passing through 200 micrometer slit and the below one is seven micrometer slit. As you see, initially 207, they are similar nuclear shape, but when the cell are squeezed at seven micro slit, the nuclear shape is totally elongated and then it will last up to 24 hours. Also, as you know, morphology change can determine the cell fate, so they expect that this squeezing, squeeze elongated nucleus, somehow they can affect the final cell fate. fate. They can assume like that. Uh, and then now go back to our figure two. And then, as you know, BAM, BAM factor is a very well-known factor for reprogramming the fibroblast to neuron cell. So fibroblast here, and then when they are adherent, they transfect the BAM using virus, and then change the media, DM media, DM, DMEM. After that, this BAM factor can be activated by the DOCS, uh, DOCS one of the drug-induced reprogramming uh, strategy. And then after six hours, they detach the cell and then they passing through this microfluidic and then while right after passing through, they, they attach again on the TCP and then culture in neural me basal media. And then seven or up to four weeks, they analyze uh, um, neurogenic reprogramming. So this is very well known uh, without this microfluidic, well known protocol to induce some I induced neuron. So control means they passing through 200 micrometer of slit. Uh, around 2.5% cell are neuron cell positive. But this, let's say, zero means they after induced the dogs, right after the dogs, they passing through the microfluid. Minus 20, 12 means that dogs, dogs activation and then 12 hours later, they passing through the microfluid. Six, six hours before. And six plus six means that after passing through this microfluid, and then after six hours later, they treat the dogs. So they optimize which time point is very proper for inducing this ion efficiency. So they find out six hours before is very good. Mm. And then using this six hours before dogs, dogs activation, they うん。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ。チェックオフ
they check the uh, neurogenic gene ASCL1 and then right after squeezing basal level after squeezing and then 3, 6, 9, 12 hour control group means 200 micrometer slit passing through this is 7 they can show up to 30 times higher gene expression level now, this is some one of the uh, they, when they check the protein level also uh, one of the neurogenic promoter promoter protein ASCL1 is highly enhanced in squeezing and then this top three also one of the marker for neuron also they are enhanced <laughs> 네. 아, 후자입니다. 네. One time passing through, and then they wait 3, 6, 9, 12 hour in neuro neuro vagal media. 시간이 아까 여기서 7 mili second. 7 mili second인데 7 7 mili second. 여기 보시면 이 정도. 한 건데 아무래도 뭐 1넷부터 여기서 이제 어디 갔냐? 7초. 예. 네, 근데 이제 이거를 한 사이클 돌려야 되니까 여기서부터 여기까지 하는데 보통 한 10분 한만개 세포 하는데 10분 걸린다고 했나? 그렇대요. 그럼 10분 정도는 얘가 좀 이렇게 7초 0.007초가 지나지만 10분 정도는 여기 있고 그다음에 얘를 이제 쑥을 따 가지고 TCP에 뿌리겠죠. 이 프로그램을 시키려고 붙은 다음에 얘가 좀 자르니까 그런 것 같아요. 그래서 이 정도 뭐 매니팩처 타임 위든 원 아워 데이 이그노 데 타임. 그래서 아마 이게 올라갔던 게 이게 아마 이, up to maybe three hour should be allowed it to attach the cell. 그거 같아요. 어, 이 정도가 이제 미니멈 어떻게 쓸 하고 그 다음에 시킨 거다. 그러니까 스퀴징 한 타임으로부터 열두 시간이니까 아마 제 생각에는 여기서부터 그냥 뭐 약간 10분 20분 로스트가 있겠지만 이 정도부터 붙었겠죠. 붙어 붙었겠죠 이렇게 쭉. 음. 어. 그러니까 쭉. 영은 안 붙인 거고. 음. 3부터는 3 시간이라고. 좀 예. 붙이고 3 시간이라고. 그렇죠 그렇죠 붙이고 3 시간. 어 붙이고 열두 시간. This is. Uh, you can also think that this hour is after squeezing, and then that immediately they are allowed it to attach on the TCP and then check the gene expression level. Which means zero hour means that right after squeezing uh, from the superintendent status. And then they check TUJ1 and tau. Also, they are important neurogenic marker. Also, they are quite enhanced in squeezing, which means seven micrometer slit and the control is 200 micrometer. And then also they analyze the late marker of the neuron, MAP2 and synapsin. And then they also check these are well formed compared to control. And then now they are focused on why, what happened in terms of the nucleus. So they focus on epigenetic change. <coughs> so as you know, S3 can and methylation 3 is one of the big barrier to convert the cell type to another cell type. So control, uh, when you, this is as you know, foci, and then this condensation factor doesn't change. When, when these cells are passing through 200 micrometer slit, but when they're squeezed, significantly the nucleus are elongated. And then here, three hour, you can see all fossa is disappear. And then we can simply think that when this cell should penetrate this small size slit, actually their nuclear side diameter is around 10, but the slit is smaller than nuclear side. So they should be soft. They should be soft than their original status. So from certain mechanism, all the four side, they are gone, which means they are a little bit degraded. And then they should have soft matter status. So later they find out some mechanism. And, and then over time, they are a little bit recovered, but not totally. But 24 hours, a little bit totally, but up to 12 hours, this uh, gun of the nuclear fossa is maintained. Yes, that's right. They don't have to do it. 
살아남아야 되니까. And then also another epigenetic change is uh, DNA methylation. So 5MC DNA methylation marker. Also, also DNA methylation, they are maintained in control group, but when they're squeezed, the methylation foresight also, they are lower than control, and then they are a little bit recovered over time. Also, when they check the ELISA, also they can observe similar pattern. And then here, uh, they want to know why this happened. So, which can say that SGK9 mentor 3 is one of the epigenetic, epigenetic barrier. And then, if we inhibit this SGK9 mentor 3 by the inhibitor, what will happen? It can show same phenomenon or different phenomenon. So, they found out this uh, peaks. This, this is one of the inhibitor to specifically inhibit the S3K9 methylation 3. When they inhibit, also they can show increase of efficiency. Squeeze only, this is control. And then when they treat both of them, but not much different between these two. So they can say that this S3K9 methylation 3 inhibitor as a mechanism, this inhibitor and the squeeze are share the mechanism, which means when they go up more, and then when they can, they can say that they have another mechanism, but even they treat together, they are similar, which means this squeezing and the squeezing plus H3K9 line maintenance 3 inhibitor, they share the same mechanism. And then, uh, this is uh, dicta bind. This is some um, 5MC specific inhibitor. Here also, it increase, squeeze increase, but here, both, in, both treatment, they all increase. So they can say that 5MC also involved, but maybe this SUK9 methylation 3 is more uh, specific. But 5MC is a little bit non-specific than the SUK9 methylation 3. And then without squeezing as a control group, and then they combine these two inhibitors. One is SUK9 methylation 3 inhibitor, methylation, methylation DNA inhibitor, they, take, they make some combination. They found out this one to two have little bit similar to the squeezing. So without squeezing, they mimic this neurogenic efficiency increase in inhibitor com combination. So overall, they want to say that the squeezing is one of the epigenetic changer. In fact, mimic it. They want to mimic this squeezing using Dix2 inhibitor. Ah, to mimic it, so it's not going to go down. So, 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 it's not going to go 그 날려도 올라가긴 하고 이만큼 아니지만 근데 동시에 친게 비슷한 거 보니까 이두 개가 메카니즘 쉬어하더라. K9 메틸레이션 3는. 근데 서플에 그게 있어요. 서플에 K9 메틸레이션 3를 다운 시키는 의미 탄거 있거든요. 그러면 효과가 떨어져요. 그것도 보여주긴 했어요. 근데 여기서는 이제 뭔가 미미킹 할수 있다 이니비터로만으로도 이렇게 설명하려고 메인 피겨 이거 짰고. 그러니까 스퀴징 정도만 올라간다. 그러니까 스퀴징 되는 이펙트가 이 뒤에 컴비네이션 이펙트와 비슷하다라고 말하고 싶은 거죠. 음, 스퀴징 안 하고 지금. 어, 디지스 위다우 스퀴징. 어, 위다우 스퀴징, 데이 미믹 더 스퀴징 이펙트. 유징 온리 이니비 에피지니티 이니비들. 오케이. 음. 우리는 메틸레이션 안 봤죠. 아, 메틸레이션 안 봤죠. 얘네 메틸레이션. 네, 안 봤어요. So for doing that, they 아, also when we go back to um, supplementary, this is some mRNA biosensor. Also, they observe more uh, top three neurogenic gene mRNA highly expressed in squeezing condition, and then also TJ1 positive cell more detected in squeezing. And then they also using flat, uh, using very very short time point. More flat means more. 
uh, H3K 1903 are stressed by the cell or nuclear shape change. So this flap signal right after squeezing, they exist and then over time they are gone. So they want they want to highlight H3K 1903 somehow they are uh, forced from the external nuclear shape change. This is some shape of the nucleus. 7 milliseconds. 속도를 느리게 For measuring this flat, they uh, way much slower down the previous condition. Maybe 10 times slower. And then they also check the western blood. Acetyl kinase three really decreasing and squeezing. And then they, when some reviewer can ask, only Acetyl kinase three change, so they check or or other epigenetic marker, ac three isolation, ac three kinase isolation, ac three k four methylation, twenty methylation, twenty seven methylation, no change at all between control and squeezing. And this is very good supplementary data. Actually, we don't have this one for our experiment. Mm. Mm. They check everything and they confirm no change. Only a certain method and three did change. Methylation is this is pan marker. I have this DNA methylation is pan DNA methylation marker. I know it's not specific. I know it's not specific. I know And then they screen out the, this inhibitor concentration. Two or four toxic, so they choosing one, up to one, and then also this uh, methylation inhibitor to mimic this squeezing. One is toxic, so they choose up to 0.5, and then they check how this methylation are changed. As you can see, this peaks without squeezing. This inhibitor of H3K methylation three, they are, as you can see, they are changed, but no other things are changed under this. H3K9 methylation 3 specific inhibitor. Okay, no change. When you go to uh, methylation, DNA methylation inhibitor, also not much change, but only change in 5MC methylation. So they screen out, they confirm this um, inhibitor effect using without squeezing, and then next they do this experiment. Uh, uh, this is this is GIB04 is H3K9 methylation 3 inhibition over inhibition. Okay, so they, as you can see, this squeezing, they inhibit the expression, but this inhibitor, inhibition of inhibition. So when they maintain the H3K9 methylation level, this efficiency is decreasing. Okay, this is a, a we normally uh, normally expect this kind of ex experiment in main figure, but they put it in supplementary. So this. Uh, histone demethylation transferase inhibition, uh, they observe decreasing. So they can say that H2K methylation 3 is really involved in this condition. And then only this, this inhibitor is without squeezing, they mimic the squeezing effect using inhibitor of H2K methylation 3 decreasing. And they observe the non toxic range. This uh, concentration is good for making. Uh, neurogenic efficiency increase, and they take confirmed by uh, K9 methylation 3 down regulation effect, uh, more foci, but it seems less foci here, right? They this condenses condensed foci they're spreading out over increase of dose. Now another yeah, 5 mc decreasing chemical, yeah, this. 0.4 or 0.5, they are quite good efficiency of in terms of the programming, and then confirmed by the confocal image. This foci consisting of methylation DNA, they are decreasing. And then also, yeah, uh, I in the morning I share with Wendy. They also maybe some reviewer ask inside reviewer some uh, ion channel can be changed. So they using three ion channel inhibitor. Calcium, potassium, natrium, and then they check the proper op optimization non cytotoxic condition, and then they check this inhibitor 
is involved in our feature, but no change. Calcium blocker, no change. Potassium blocker, and then no change. Sodium ion blocker. So there is no relevant, no involvement of the, this ion channel. But they didn't check the uh, piezo or mechanosensitive ion channel. Maybe this can this data can be asked by external review. And they also check the pH because as you know, microfluidic device, some pH can be changed. So they check all three pH, but no change at all. So pH doesn't matter. And then now they go back to laminase data. Okay, so laminase, as you know, the key nuclear membrane component. So before passing through, they are well maintained. After passing through, uh, like laminase knockdown cells shape, they are very ugly and elongated, and they are losing their um, dense structure. It will last up to 6 to 12 hours, but after 24 hours, they are recovered. So nuclear wrinkling index quite high and then a little bit decreasing. And then laminacy uh, average intensity also decreasing and going up and recovered to 24 hours. And then they mimic this squeezing effect using laminacy knockdown. Okay, so when you, you look at the only lamination knockdown, this is without squeezing, only they treat laminacy. As you can imagine, three, similarly, their condensed one become decondensed. Laminacy gone, 5 MC also decondensed, laminacy also gone. And then they do simultaneously squeezing plus laminacy knockdown. Also, similarly happen. Okay, so K9 3 condensation level all decreasing, 5 MC also decreasing, and but they expect maybe this laminacy have another serious effect. This combinatory condition can show more enhancement of immune I mean, neurogenic efficiency, but no change, NS, which means that this laminacy and the squeezing, they share the same mechanism. And then as a, as a last, people ask, okay, you are using one mouse fibroblast, what happened if we use another cell line? So they are using macrophage. I don't know, they didn't mention why they use, choose macrophage, but here they choose macrophage and then do the similar pattern. And then they find that in, in case of macrophage also enhancement of the neurogenic efficiency. And then, oh, this is not only for the BAM factor neurogenic reprogramming, but also other reprogramming factors. So they using OSKM factor to reprogram the fibroblast to IPC. So IPC efficiency also enhanced. So they can generalize this concept. And then for biomanufacturing uh, point of view, uh, previously they only collect the cell uh, like 50%, but this they, mention, they make high throughput device. Using this high throughput device, they can collect the 90% of cell from the injected cell and then the live cell also maintain, and the efficiency is similar, but speed is 10 times more higher than uh, old device. It's old device. So they can generalize from the other type of cell, other type of reprogramming, and then other type of the high throughput output device. And this is the last page of the, this experiment. And then when you go back to supplementary, yeah, laminacy level, as you can see, they are changed and elongated, and then they are recovered. Mm. Ah, sorry, this is, actually this is from the 200 micrometer, which means control group. So control group, so you can, when you directly compare it, uh, compared to this, uh, this is a little bit lower. But anyhow, when, when cell can feel the shear stress using microfluidic, a little bit change. Yeah, I cannot ignore this. But here, when they con so the, in here, they didn't put the control group graph here. Maybe when they draw control group, a little bit like this or like this. So also shear effect, we cannot ignore it. But they can only show in supplementary as image, as a control group. And then uh, this laminacy, when they are uh, highly heterochromatic structure, K9, methylene 3, and laminacy, they are co-stained. Yeah, they mentioned co-stained, but 
when the squeezing, core stain is gone. Laminacy is outside and inside less. Here, you can see more dramatically. Laminacy here, laminacy is a little bit gone, and then 5MC, this one is also gone. And then they, they check the laminacy knockdown effect using gene expression level. And then uh, this is uh, their neurogenic efficiency, QJ1, Synapsin, and MAP2. Squeezing like that, SR and M mRNA knockdown similar. They, both of them, they are similar, three is similar. And then this is their uh, microfluidic, mm, fluidic, their what is that? A simulation. So from this inlet, this outlet, so speed and then their force, they are depicted. And then ex after expectation and simulation of this high throughput device, they perform their assay. OK, thank you.